Yeah, so who all in here are athletes? Okay, good number, okay. Now who all knows how to properly stretch? Mm, okay, see now, okay. So I'm here to talk about how to properly stretch and how to prevent yourself from injuries because if you don't stretch in, uh, before a workout or even after a workout, you can potentially hurt yourself in the next workout, the next day or something like that. So, so a couple of exercises that I do after a workout is just like, first you just wanna like open up, get, get, uh, get good airflow throughout your whole body. Just, just get good airflow, chest wide. And then you wanna pop, you wanna uh, rotate like this a couple of times. And then after, uh, so now say you did a, like a leg workout and your legs are really tight. You wanna first, you, I'm not gonna get down on the floor and do it. But you want to drain your legs, and draining your legs is putting it up, and it's draining the lactic acid out of your legs. So if you, when you drain them, you'll drain them for about 30 seconds to two minutes. And then after that, you will start doing some leg stretches such as, oh, such as one of these right here. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not flexible right now. I had a workout today myself. So um, you do a leg stretch like this for about 10 seconds. <laughs> then you'll do a, a stretch down the middle, for about 10 seconds. Then you rotate over. And then, after you do your little leg stretches, if you have one of these handy dandy utensils, you can, this is a, called a roller, and it stretch, it uh, gets the knots out of your legs. And if you have a good partner or friend who can help you out, you can um, have them roll out those knots. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. Uh, it looks like you walking with Mitch. Is that your turn? Ah, so yeah, <laughs> bro. Dirty down here. Uh, I apologize for those who can't see, so I'm gonna just talk my way through it. So I right, stretch it, put the leg out. So what you want to do is have them be relaxed because if you tense up, then that's going to make the muscle even more tighter and it's going to hurt you even more. So you want him to be relaxed, have them breathe, apply pressure to where it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> apply pressure to where it hurts. And then you want to roll slowly but surely to get, and then you want to like rotate a little bit <laughs> to get the knots out. As you can see, he's, he's really tight though because if you're not as tight, it's gonna roll pretty pretty smoothly, but if it gets caught, that means there's a knot in there, and you just want to like go back and forth with it to loosen the knot out. So as you proceed going on, it's just gonna roll the knot out. And then you would do this for about, I wanna say, <laughs> you would do this for about two to four minutes, I wanna say. You don't wanna go too long, because then you're just like, uh, you don't wanna relax the muscle too, too much. So then I'm gonna do the other way. Like, <laughs> so like, do you stretch a lot? Cause no. <laughs> That's why I hurt a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it do it do have a little pokey sensation to it, but like I said, that gets down through the skin, massage through the muscles. <clears throat> do anybody own a roller here? I got like six. I got about six. You want to use that one? I'll give them away. Uh, see how you feel. Feel a little better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was cool. See, so, but if you don't, <laughs> but if you don't exercise, well not exercise, but if you don't stretch after exercise, then you most definitely gonna be feeling in the morning by having cramps or like not being able to perform at your full potential in the next workout and stuff like that. Also, um, you got a question? Oh, uh, okay. My bad. So um, also, if you don't um, stretch and also like relieve stress, like believe it or not, because if you just being stretching, it teaches you how to relax, and being relaxed is good for your brain. So stretch. I encourage everyone to stretch more often and uh, just breathe. A key a key point to stretching is breathing. And just focus on your breathing, and um, yeah, that's my presentation. That's my speech. Thank you. Any questions?